Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and check it out. One million dollar award just for playing GTA between September 26th and October 2nd. It's saying it's been deposited in my Maze Bank account. And let's see, what is today? Today is like the 28th? Somewhere along that line. It's, it's a Saturday morning again. But here we are. We've got a million dollars coming to us. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny. They just put an entire new launcher into the game, and I still have this glitch. But a million dollars, a million dollars. So what do we what do we want to buy with this? I mean, we've got massive discounts going on. Okay, let's click OK. Let's follow through with the glitch, or perhaps we should do the time warp yet again. Oh, and there is a brand new survival series coming out. And, you know, it's double money on survivals, and I just don't know. Do I want to try? I mean, you know, you've seen me do survival before. And it's, um, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's something that's really appealing to me right now. I don't feel like blowing a lot of ammo and making enough money just to get the ammo back, even with double money. It's, I think this is something where if you're really rocking a co-op, and yet someone says, hey, let's do a survival. Okay, then it might be a fun thing. But solo, solo survival, that's that's for the hardcore, want to shoot stuff kind of thing. You know me, I'm just, I'm sure about the cars, doing some missions, getting trolled. That's, that's how I roll. Congratulations, you have been awarded one million dollars for participating in a GTA online promotion. Stay tuned to the Rockstar Newswire for more ways to earn exclusive gifts. Hoo-hoo! Got a million dollars. So now I'm going to buy some stuff. I got a million dollars. I might as well buy some stuff. If the game ever loads before my head explodes. Uh, let's do the time. Oh, wait, is it loading? Is that little thing went out? Are we going? Are we doing this? Come on, guys. You're, you're lengthening the amount of time it's been since I've last spun the wheel. Let's load. If it even loads. Alright, come on. Boom, boom, boom. All right, here we are at the casino. Right now, the casino, actually, that garage is one of the only places I'm sure that I have room to store cars right now. I really have to kind of canvas the garages and see what's what. I could be desperately low on, on garage space at this point. Now, I had been planning on saving the casino just for... Um, Daily objectives that could guide us a little bit too. Complete a heist finale. Okay, we're done. Let's get rid of that. Okay, music on. Or should I say, copyright problems gone. Now this guy, I know, Rusty Jack. He's got some. He's got some garage space available. I'm not too worried about him. The CEO in pajamas, so that we're going to have to try and figure out. The first things first, let's do the wheel spinny spinny kind of thing. Before we start looking at the, the massive sales. Now this is not the fastest of your, your, your cars. Is this a, I think this is a uh, sports classic. Yeah, I'm almost positive it's a classic. Not the fastest of them. Not the best handling, but it is beautiful. I've always wanted one. And, that, and those colors, those are almost, let's make Bruffy happy colors. Of course, Bruffy can't play right now because he's in California. So he's not going to have a chance to win this. But hey, listen, the colors are there and he can, he can buy one himself and mock it up that way if he wants to. That's so not, the, not the fastest, so he probably won't do that. Go, Bruffy, 1322. 
Lucky we. We can spin that lucky wheel. Spin it. Did you see it change? It just it just shifted by a couple. I don't know if I can capture that in the slow mo, but instead of winning the vehicle, I've won a shirt. And remember, you know. I pretty much always wear the same outfits. It's kind of a, you know, recognizable YouTube kind of thingy. All right, well, at any rate, let's head outside here. Let's get this. I wish they would leave, if you're here, and the car that you have is here. It's parked here. I wish you would stay in the penthouse garage instead of going outside, because there are so many times I log in and it's like, hey, welcome to GTA. Your three vehicles been destroyed. Because people do that. That's how they are. Now, if you look here, let's go to Southern San Andreas Super Autos. There's a few things on sale. Really good sales. I mean, the Vamos, I could definitely see myself getting into a Vamos. And a Tulip. I mean, they're just two classic muscle cars. And they're, look at this. I mean, you're talking four, basically 360 here, 300 there. So you're looking 600 there. But the the useful one, 242,000 for the the Yosemite. Now you know the same day this went on sale, I was on a teleconference with a customer at work. She said she's going on vacation, and when they she asked, they asked, we asked her, hey, where are you going on vacation so we could live vicariously off your exploits? She said Yosemite. <laughs> and you know, which Yosemite was how a lot of a lot of YouTubers are actually describing this when it came out. And then she tried to sell. I was like, oh yeah, well she was from Utah, so she could say, well yeah, that's how that's how they say it out there. They say Yosemite, and it's like, really? Is have we all been saying Yosemite wrong? And no, no, no. They say it Yosemite. They they, they let up on the joke there. The, but there is a Yosemite Kentucky, spelled exactly the same way, and they say Yosemite. So. That there is an interesting thing. So, but the Yosemite, of course, you know, with a vehicle as seminal as the Yosemite, or the Yosemite, if you're from Kentucky, it's hard to know where to start. You could talk about the drop center ladder frame and the low slung cabin. You could talk about the independent front suspension, or you could talk about how this thing has been slammed so hard you have to be careful driving over fallen leaves. <laughs> By the end of the day, you won't be talking at all because you'll be too busy grinning like an idiot whenever you're behind the wheel. And it is one of the fastest muscle cars per roughly 1322. So let's grab that one in orange. We're going to grab a couple of those. The Yosemite. And we'll, now if we look at the other thing that's on sale, that I think is a definite. No, it's not Warstock. It's not a Warstock one. We're the Arena War. By Arena Ready Vehicles. There's a sale, a massive sale, on the Brutus. And we've actually unlocked the uh, the Buy It Now on these. Oh, no, we haven't. No, Buy It Now is... But we haven't unlocked four one. I thought I unlocked one Brutus price. Didn't we unlock one Brutus price? I was trying to be getting the 400... What was the one I unlocked? There's, there's definitely a... There it is. It was on the Nightmare Scarab and only the Nightmare Scarab. And I had no real use for a $2 million Nightmare Scarab. All right, I'm disappointed now. I was one off. But... The Brutus. That's an interesting thing. Now, I could get a rusty one because it says Rusty Jack. But I mean, you know, I don't know. The, the Future Shock Brutus kind of is the cool one to cruise around. We could do a really clean variant of it. Just have a very clean van. But for only half a million dollars, it seems like that's pretty huge. I think this is a, a, a Twitch Prime sale. From 2.6 million, so it's a 2.1 million savings. So it's just a matter of do we go. Do we go goofy? I haven't gone goofy on a lot of them. 
You know, it's like the psychotic kind of thing. You know, we could do this up in the exact same livery as uh, as the Spartan and the Space Cowboy. That's right. Let's go with Space Cowboy, Future Shock, Brutus. There's a lot of potential here, isn't there? Buy it now. Um, I don't know how, which of the... Let's see, is there any of the arena workshops that can handle it? If I put it in B2. Okay, it's got room in B2. It's got to be modified there anyway, so we're going to save ourselves a little bit. And now, what other kind of, maybe want to, before we go too crazy, the Vamos. Do we want to get the Vamos, the Nova? Believe it or not, the Vamos began life in 1960 as a sensible, affordable, compact car. But over the course of the decades, something wonderful happened. It moved out of its parents' house and started hanging out with V8s and fastbacks. Its wheelbase lengthened, its grill expanded, and its hood got so long that and flat you could spend a whole summer of love on it. These days, it's exactly the kind of bad influence you've been looking for. Is it enough of a deal? I mean, it's not, again, not a fast car, but how do you not have a Nova? Black Nova. I think I'm only getting one of these. And how's he gonna get one of these? Yeah, I'm not going to get one of those for the CEO. The CEO, I don't know if that matches up with him. His style. The Tulip, you know what? I think I'll save the Tulip. The Ford, of course, it is the only four-door muscle car. At 359000 you know, there's, there's a story here, which I'll save for when we get to the CEO in pajamas, where I might get one over there, too. And it's rusty jack. It just kind of fits them. What color? I'm blowing money out the window because I just got a million. And now I spent more than a million. I'm not going to mod them, though. I'm just going to. Not right now. We have to save some. I have to do a bunch of more grinding, really. Um, I don't think there's much else. I, need, I already have scram jets on everybody. Um, let's see. I already have a buzzard. Don't need any of this. Legendary? Anything up in the legendary? The Krieger? Not getting a Krieger anytime soon. Nothing here I want to make get a variant of. I do want to at some point get a, uh, a coquette just so I can paint it. Paint it? A blue coquette so I can paint it blue. Try and say that five times fast. A blue coquette so I can paint it blue. I was saying blue cat there or something along those lines. Alright, I think we're done shopping. All right, everything's here. Well, not everything. A couple things are here. Bippity boppity bacon. All right, let's take the orange truck because this one I want to I want to fully mod up. Okay, this one this is because this is going to be a viable racing option here. And let us set our. Who's in, the, who's in session? This is a live session. This is a free mode. A morning free mode. Play that with players. Just me and Dead Tunes. All right. I think we'll. I think we'll get along. I don't think Dead Tunes is gonna be like I've been waiting for someone to show up so I can shoot them. Play this. Don't say anything. Okay, I won't. The two looks there too, but the only one that I'm like those two I'm not gonna be racing. This one. 
This has racing possibilities. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one color-wise. I mean, I've been kind of, kind of fixated on a, the the blue and orange kind of color scheme with this. That kind of goes with my clothes. Okay, so it does. You really? Double action revolver. Right away. See, a violent altercation was avoided. It's a judicious use of a double action revolver. That's just. That's a thing. As we zip along. Now this is still stock, so it's not as fast as it could be. Now, well, if you told me I just to try and kiss the nose on that in a mid slide, that'd be a hard stunt to pull off. But randomly, oh yeah, we could just do that. It does seem a little slidey. I don't know if this is going to take the place of, say, oh, my custom Sabre Turbo. I can't remember if this guy has a, a, a GTX for use on dual. Uh, let's see, can we go, let's go into B1? B1, I think, is where I put the, uh, the Brutus. Is that where I put the Brutus? There's room here, so... Yeah, I put it in B2. It doesn't matter. Let's get this thing... modified. Modify the vehicle. Okay, armor. Yeah, we need armor. Brakes, we need brakes. Bumpers. Okay, front bumper. Front bumper delete. Hey, that's a clip. No bumper and chin spoiler. Bumper and chin spoiler. Chin, you know, I think, you know, to really get a feel for what we're going to do with this, we really got to go right to livery here. Which are on sale. Yellow flames. Okay, now yellow flames, I think, is a very viable look. Digging it. Blue flames. Ooh, even more. You know, especially with the orange. Now that has a lot of potential there. Track master. Okay. I'm digging it. I wonder if that just shifts color with the, uh... Is it always orange or does it go with the orange? Autocross Destroyer. Alright, this this matches my shirt again. Alright, so this would be just like the uh, the Dixie Challenger version of that. Okay, so that's, right now that's in the lead. Rat Race. Now, it is a Rusty Jack kind of thing. San Andreas, so Super Auto, as you can see, the address is the 77. You know, and you'd think it's Rusty Jack. Wouldn't I go with a rusty version of it? Al's Auto Shop, I mean, that's good. You'd have to go with a, with a, a matte paint to make those work. Diego's, you know, that's another good. They have a, a lot of rusty variants here. A lot of patina. It's a little bit hard to get past the fact, though, that this matches my shirt and pants. I don't know. Is that... There's a certain feeling of how can we not? How can we not go with the Patriot and Orange? I won't even have to respray re it. It's so American. But I don't know, if there was more orange showing, like this looks a little goofy. Like this really should be a blue bed or something if you really want to pull it off. The rat race. The seven the seventy-seven on the side. Making it like a, a, a souped up garage truck. There's something to that too, Diego's Garage. The Flywheel Shop Truck.
there's something to a vehicle that's just been it's all the mechanicals we've done, but we've, we're not worrying about the paint. Even though to do that, we're gonna have to worry about the paint. Well, I don't know. I'm not gonna say we're gonna keep it. But let's take the rustiest version for Rusty Jack for right now. Go back to respray. Let's go. Well, now I go go to bumpers. Front bumpers. Now what? Ooh, it says flywheels there underneath. Like this is just a, 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 a originally a very custom truck. That has been left to rust. Part two valence with fogs. But do they light? This thing is so I, I, I'm guessing that this thing is so low anyway. It's not gonna matter if we put some splitters on it. Like we're not we're not getting much here. But tell you what, the front bumper delete this with just the flywheels there. I'm digging that. Rear bumpers, rear bumper delete, and stickers. Chassis, roll cage it, reinforced bed. High roll bar. I think it's between the high roll bar and the reinforced bed. Roll cage inside. Take the high roll bar. Let's go with that. Engine, rev it up. Uh, grill, primary grill. Ooh, that kind of works. Secondary grill, primary grill, and dechrome. We want to completely dechrome this thing. Secondary grill and dechrome. That kind of looks like they were going for something somewhere on the line. It kind of says secondary color hood. No, rusty hood. If you can just get a rust, just a rusty hood. Ram air hood. Triple intake bug catcher. Which looks like they work. You don't have a hood delete option. That's what I was expecting. I was going to take the hood off this one. Oh, let's go around there. Corn. Lights, I'm not going to do this up with, um, with any kind of funky lights. <coughs> Although, I tell you what, I could give them multiple colors here. You wanna go with that? I've only done that on one car so far, and it was for a reason. So, back to livery. We've already done that. The plate. There is none. Let's save our money. There's no plate on this thing. It's a race truck now. The respray, primary color. Go matte. And it's just a matter of what what shade of rust would you like? Gray. Ice white. Now that gives it an interesting feel to the whole thing, doesn't it? Because the white kind of goes, the, the ice white kind of unrusts it a little bit. Orange is what we would have started with. I still looking too shiny. You're doing matte, right? Yeah. Pull up metals. Brush steel underneath the the yeah. It's definitely matte. I'm telling you, I think the ice white, the ice white kind of makes the whole holds the whole thing together. Secondary color. Ah, see, the hood's a secondary. So that, you go ice white on the hood. Now, 
Now it looks truly rusty. This rusty eraser. It's been left out too long. It's coming back. Coming for ya. Trim color. Oh, let's bring it all together. Give me a white interior. Though, you know, truth be told, what are the odds of having a white interior or a white exterior? That would have been a, you know, a pickup truck, really. It's just wasted money. I think I'm going to put it right back to black. I like to waste money. Close enough. Resprayed on roof. Lots of the black rubber bed cover. Secondary cover, no. Rusty bed cover, okay. But it doesn't really work with the, the roll bar, does it? No. Spoiler, obviously. Tailgate delete. And that gives you the. Uh, that gives you the same effect as a spoiler, but let's see. Short mid gate spoiler. Mid tailgate spoiler. There you go. The NASCAR kind of spoilers, probably. Prime. Oh, here we go. Roll cage with a bed cap. Secondary bed cap. Sleeper bed cap. Beware. It's rusty. Oh, no, wait a minute. You got the rusty bed cap. Beware a dog. Tailgate spoiler. Tall tailgate spoiler. GT wings. The GT wing just bolted on there. That does say that does do something for me there. That's But that that works. That really ties it all together. It's a it's a true race truck. Put the cab on for arrow. Suspension. How could you lower this any further? I mean, come on. That's just ridiculous. Redonkulous. You're not, you're just riding along the, no. That's, I want to be able to clear some things. Race transmission. Bed liner. Oh, you can put a rusty bed in just for looking through the window at it, right? Raise rusty bed? No. Raised old wood bed. Oh no, that's I like that. Again, who's gonna see it? Not even hardly anyone's gonna see it, but that is Turbo, obviously. Wheels, I'll tell you the wheels kinda look good the way they are. Any tires, tire enhancements, bulletproof, yeah. But I mean that's really kind of a good look for this. And they could put like you know, could put muscle stocks on it of any kind of nature. But it's already got good ones, unless we really want to go like low rider with the white walls, which I don't. I just not call me. I think the way I think we're good here. I think we can save a little money. Windows, leave it alone. Yeah, let's exit the arena for right now. Not exit the car. I wanted to go forward. Not get out. Come on. Hey, the acceleration isn't as quick as I thought it would be. It feels a little heavy. Not perhaps a little bit nimble. And it tends to push. Okay, that's. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take this around a track at some point. Let's see what all the hubbub is about. Because it feels, to be honest, like a truck. It feels like a high power truck.
some point I'll have to take this out on duel. See if it feels better than, you know. I don't think it's got a lot of breaks. But that's good. That's a good deal there. Yeah, you know, years ago my brother-in-law was working on a truck not too dissimilar from that one. Uh, it wasn't that rusty though. But it was white. It's been 10 or 15 years since I've seen it. I don't think he got rid of it. There it is. Another space cowboy potential. Well, that was weird. It's like the front end changed there suddenly. Modify. Modify it. This should roll into the, the shop. No, it just disappears. Brakes. Race brakes. Boost. I don't know if we want to do... Do we want to go for the, the really expensive stuff yet? Yeah, chunk boost. Boost upgrade. 400,000. Man, I forgot how expensive these were. Bodywork. Blades. Spinning blades. Do we want spinning blades? For 145,000. You know what? I don't know if I want to do this yet. As a... Uh, do we just want to make it a space truck? Or do we, you know, like, do we cruise around in? Or one that's actually usable? Bumpers. Front bumper. Fighter's jaw. Yeah. Rear bumpers. Jack. Why is that called a jackass? Impact bar. I am not rich enough to do this just yet, but let's let's get so we can see how it drives. Exhaust. Dual. Pu yeah, it's goofy. And there's, eventually, maybe I will be doing this up goofy. Grill. Vanity grill. De classe. I like the vanity grill. We'll go with that. Hood. Not much to that even. Lights. Neon. You know. Library. You take away the library. Just clean it up. There's not a lot of library there. 5700 to take away the HK library. Name. I don't really have a name for it just yet. Respray. Primary color. Metallic. Let's get into the blues. <coughs> Saddle brown. Spinnaker purple. Midnight blue. Do we want to go full midnight? Galaxy blue. Dark blue. There's a little bit of a texture to it. It's interesting. Saxon. Just blue. What can I do the other ones then? I think just blue. Secondary color. Metallic. Let's go ice white. We'll do this the same as the Spartan. Accent color, silver. Now we're gonna go ice white again. Skirts, step up bar, sci-fi skirt. You know, the step up bar kind of, I think, ties it together a little bit better. Suspension, we'll leave that up. Transmission, I want to give it the performance upgrades just to see what it feels like. You know, that's gonna determine. No, we're not gonna do vertical jump just yet. Wheels were too cool as they are. Weapons, don't worry about it. Uh, ram weapons, let's see. Let's go none for right now. Ooh, the riot kind of thing. 225,000! 
Half a million for the Mega Blade. You know, I'm going to leave it stock for right now because I don't know what I'm doing. Exit the arena. Let's just see how this drives. I mean, if I'm not going to want to drive it, I'm just going to have it here as, as a to have. Great. I mean, if I put if I put the turbos on it, if I put the nitrous boost on it, maybe you need something. I mean, it looks cool. I want two of them though. If I spend another half million just to throw one in the uh, on the CEO side of the house. I don't know. I like it. I mean, I do like it. Got the glowing, the glowing wheels here. I can see us fixing this up so that it is a full arena kind of very. But I don't know that um, I'd ever use it because it'll get, it'll get annihilated. Maybe I have a little bit more money. We'll revisit this. But do I want to spend another half a million on one for the CEO? Let's have a different variant. Maybe the psycho variant for the, just for the CEO, for the heck of it. I have a thought. Okay, first things first, let's see. Can we win this car? Come check out the new vehicle on the podium. You can win it with just a spin on the lucky wheel. Am I lucky? On the lucky wheel, I'm gonna lucky. On the lucky wheel, give me that vehicle. I want the vehicle, the vehicle, the vehicle. Or the Lost Land Man. One of the two. I'll take either. No vehicle for me today. Chippy Doos. Ah, well. Speaking of Chippy Doos. <coughs> I've got like 1.2 million in chips. So, I mean, if I ever got really pressed cash it all in, but Just a right now I'm still trying to I'll be right there. finish up with my stuff and then get my, okay, what are the, any new masks? I didn't look at that with the rusty jack. Who is that guy sleeping in the bathtub? <laughs> Who's Not sure. I think he came back with Megan and Haley. Was he a real cop? Everyone's a stripper for the next 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now this is style. You know what? The Lemonade Man. We're turning to Lemonade Man because I think that's the direction I'm going to go with this Brutus. Exit the casino. Let's uh, let's make some purchases here. I know, dude. My boss called up giving me all drama and shit. We are gonna hey, get Jeff, in this case a tulip. Be all kinds of traffic action on Howard. And on, again, the only place I know I can best. put this is here. Purchase yeah, pending. Shoot the planners. Lates. Let's go home. Go. Not gonna get the Nova for this one. I already got one Nova. I think that's all I need. But a Yosemite. Buy that sucker. Again, have to find a home for it. Not gonna mod it up today. This might get while it's on radical sale. Now, the Arena Wars. This, this one we're gonna screw with. We are going to go with... No, not the Nightmare Scarab. Screw that. We are going to go with the Nightmare Brutus. For half a million. This one we're going to put... And where the heck is it? 
Arena Workshop. B1, I think, has space. Yeah, let's get over there. In style, of course. You may notice, I did a, I did a video, I recorded, this is not voiced yet, where I did tweak the paint on this and the lights. This more closely reflects... How you doing? Great! This more closely, closely reflects the matchbox I had as a kid. The green's closer. And that actually did have a, as I recall, I have to find it, but I think it had a, a yellow, uh, a yellow insert for the headlights and a yellow, yellow glass for the, win the windows. But since I can't do the windows, I just did the, the track lighting here. The ground effect lighting. Let's go take a look at this here, Brutus. You know, I, I, I bet you this doesn't handle very much differently from the Yosemite. I, I can feel like the Yosemite will be faster, no question about it, but you know, there's... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But I think in the Yosemite, I think I would have hit those people, because I don't think it has as good brakes. And there is a certain placebo effect. Like, I built this car out of sentimentality, so therefore it feels fast. Isn't that amazing? They give you a million dollars and you end up down to because sales. That's how it kind of works sometimes. I think that was the purpose of. Remember the incentive uh, tax breaks? Then they give you three hundred bucks. Yeah, hey, I got three hundred bucks. Well, that means it's another two hundred. I can get that television. I can get more money into the economy. We've proven. Good time. The nightmare Bruce is there. B1. Garage level B1. Now where is it? Where is it? There it is. Now you're thinking, that is ugly as crap. And I don't want it to have anything that says little wiener on it. So we're going to modify the vehicle. With this, first of all, the library. None. Absolutely none. What about wheels? Can we, can we get rid of the red wheels? Maybe that's a secondary color option. Let's go to respray. Primary color. I think you see where I'm going with this. Metallic. Lemon. Do yellow? We do a do yellow for this. A do yellow lemonade. That kind of goes with the with the mask better. Do yellow lemonade. The race yellow lemonade is more lemony. I... Let's let's look at the secondaries and then we'll see. Secondary color, metallic. Ah, there we go. We can control it there. That's so lemony. I don't know. Let's go race yellow with it. I feel I feel like that's calling to me more. Do we do yellow on yellow or give it white wheels? I'm in the wrong on that. You have to be a metallic to get the race yellow. Yellow. The secondary. What about matte? Because they're tires. Ice white matte tires. That has a look to it. Which we have to leave the tires as they are then. We'll get custom tire. I think maybe we could get custom roof. Yeah, 
We'll leave the roof clean. Skirts, step up bar, gas step bar. What for the pink? Yeah, let's get a bit of rusty step up. It's a red step. I think I'm gonna leave it clean as it is. Suspension, leave that as it is. Transmission, rev it. Turbo, rev it. This thing needs as much help as wheels. I'm not going to give it a lot of... So if, if we go for a custom wheel type, does it change the, uh, the color? Yeah, then you end up with regular tire. Oh, we got to stay white. That's the whole... Tires. Tire design. You've already must have a custom that says bulletproof. Tire smoke. Yellow. Let's say white tire smoke doesn't make sense, does it? They're white tires. Let's, let's, let's not be silly. Weapons. Ram weapons. Oh, goodness. I just wanted a matching Mega Blade. That's ugly as crap. Nothing here. It's all pink. I think we see it go none. It's just going to be a lemon mobile. It's not going to be useful. Even the weapons have that garish color scheme to them. Proximine, we can still put a, put, a, put an EMP on this. 150,000. That's some. Um, boost. I don't know, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be too much with this. It's just a lemon mobile, so why don't we now at this point? Because otherwise... Bodywork, decorations, no blades, you, armor plating, you. I think we have what we want out of it. Name. The monade. Plate. At least leave it as it is. And I think we're we're done here. Exit the arena. Was it a complete waste because I don't like any of the other colors? A uh, word of warning, partner. The ID business is at. Shut up. Yeah, at some point I'm going to have to sell the ID business. I'm going to try to hold off. Oh, if you do this drift and you do a, an EMP mine. Oh, oh, they're getting mad at me over a simple EMP. Who's being like that? Can I convince you not to be that way? That'll do it. Was it worth it? Probably not. But that is good. Here we are. The lemonade. Oh, then I've got a, a wanted level because I acted in self-defense. Oh, the, the lemonade transit then. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. He's down. Well, they really get upset over those EMP lines, don't they? Why can't I drop another mine? It's not like there's a cooldown on this. Am I limited by how many mines I can have? But three mines? Oh, that's cheesy. It's the cheese mobile, I should have called it. Eh? Maybe we're gonna have to make it look totally psychotic to make it useful at some point, but 
<laughs> okay, it's just, it just kind of, kind of works for the whole lemon thing. The, I don't know, my secret alternate identity as the lemonade man shot through the heart, and you're near the shot near the heart, and you're to blame. You get. That's all I got, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Enjoy this this week. Um, this is your lemonade man. <laughs> have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>